Just open your mouth and just thank the Lord with the fruit of your lips. With the fruit of your lips. Just thank him. Thank him. He's been awesome. He's been good. 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 There is someone who should be in a church like this but cannot find it. You don't go to a church just because you saw a signboard. There's far, far more to it than just a signboard or somebody inviting you. It's a supernatural work of God for you to find a church, for you to join the church and to go the extra mile of being at a camp like this. It's part of God's great agenda to change my life, to change your life. Thank him. Just thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. What a blessing. What a blessing. What a blessing. Let the Lord hear you. Let it rise. Let your gratitude rise to the Lord. Let it come up to him as a sweet smelling incense. Thank you, Jesus. 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 What a blessing for bringing us to a place. For bringing us to a place. For bringing us to such a place. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What a blessing. 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 Just thank him. Just thank him. What a blessing. What a blessing. What a blessing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, deliver Sunday. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before we take our seats, we want to pray um, and ask the Lord to add value to this experience we've had. If you turn your Bibles to Luke chapter 10, it's a very important verse to read. Verse 24. Luke chapter 10, verse 24. Jesus said, For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which you see and have not seen them and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. That is how blessed you are. That's why, I mean, you know, I could have quoted this verse without asking you to read it, but it's important for you to read it in your Bible so that you don't take lightly what God is doing here. It's important for you to know when you have certain experiences in God and with God, to have this in mind, that there are people who desire to have this experience, but they have not been given the privilege. You know, there are people who desire to hear what you are hearing, but somehow they cannot find a camp like this to attend. They cannot get even, even the message to hear. But before this, verse 23, the previous verse, he said, and he turned him unto his disciples and said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see the things you see. 
Blessed are the eyes which see the things you see. Remember, we are neutralizing the curse. Are, are you aware that we are neutralizing the curse? And one of the major things we've learned at this camp is that when you experience blessings, you minimize and neutralize the curse. You dilute the effect of the curses on your life by the blessings you come upon and the blessings you experience. And we are learning right here that sometimes what you see is a blessing. So by being here, you have neutralized the curse. Yes, that's the Bible. That what you see, just by seeing what you are seeing, just, oh yes, just by being here to hear what you are hearing, you don't need to honor your father, your mother, your pastor, or sacrifice, all the list. But just by being here to hear the things you've heard, you have minimized the level of curses operating in your life. Yes. And we are saying to God that, Father, let this be a reality. That in my life, it should not be that someone who was not here will have the same level of blessing as I will have. But I want to pray and say, Father, let it reflect in my life. It should never be that my life a year from now would be as if I never heard these things. That I never sat in such a camp. But Lord, let every experience, every moment I've experienced here count towards the neutralization of the curses upon my life. Is it a good prayer to pray? All we are saying is that, Lord, I do not want to trivialize this experience. That is why Peter, once again, you know, he likes talking. He always, when he was with James and John and they saw the transfiguration of Jesus, he said, Lord, allow us to build tabernacles. Allow us to do something to show that we appreciate this experience. That it's not every day we get to see our master transfigured before our eyes. So we are also praying that, Lord, as we live here, allow us to live a life that shows that we were once upon a time at the camp here in Buffalo. Is it a good thing? So we are praying and say, Lord, let it come to pass in my life. Let everybody see that I came for this experience. Blessed are the eyes which see the things that you see. Blessed are the ears that hear the things you are hearing. Let's begin to pray and say, Lord, let it happen in my life. Yes, pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you. Why you chose me, I don't know. Why I am here and others are not here, I don't know. Why I was able to make it to this camp and others could not make it, I don't know. But I thank you. I thank you for this experience that many desire to, hear, to, to have. For what I'm seeing here that many desire to see. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For the, for the privilege to see the things I'm seeing. Let it affect my life. Let it count. Let it count. Let it count. May I not live here and fall back to my old ways. May I not live here and become the same and become the same person as I was before I came here. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. I commit my life, my ministry. Every day of my life, Lord, let this experience count. In my life, let me build tabernacles. Let me do something that shows that I was a part of this experience. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands and pray if you can. Just lift your hands. Bible says sometimes it's good to pray. Lifting up holy hands. Lifting up holy hands. As pray and say, Lord, let this count. Let my ministry be different. Let my ministry be different. Let my life be different. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Le makaton de le bosa. Remeni mamayan de le ken bosan de ken dalabasa. Rombolo bose. Rombolo bose. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. What a blessing. 
what a blessing, 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 what a blessing in the name of Jesus. What a blessing in the name of Jesus. Le mama yan delebe, kebo dama zan delebe. Ima mayan delebe, manda maya, kabala, kandebos. Le mama yan de kelebe, bebe, 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 bebe. Re me kebola mayan dama yan da. Me kelebe, mame, le bosin dirimai. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I am blessed to be here. I am blessed to be here. There is a blessing upon my life. Just by being here, there is a blessing. Blessed are the eyes that see. Thank you for my eyes that saw. Thank you, Jesus, that the kings and the prophets desired to see what I've come to see. They desire to hear what I came to hear. What a blessing. What a blessing. What a blessing. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. The last session we had was very powerful. Bishop tied vision 10,000 beautifully to neutralizing the curses of our lives, on our lives. Amen. Amen. Because there is something about soul winning that can provide an exit route from the road to curses. As I said this morning, many people, most people in the world are just flowing along the river of curses. They, they are helplessly moving and heading for a destination of curses, devastation, pain, sorrow. But God has chosen us. I said God has chosen us that we in our time will escape what our family members could not escape. Yeah. What people like us could not escape. Yeah. Is there anybody here who believes that curses are really directing the lives of many people? I tell you. You know, if you will go back, let's, let's go right up there to the beginning and see what is, what is a curse. Do you have your notes? Yeah. Yes. What is a curse? What is a curse? A curse is an appeal to a supernatural power to inflict evil. Amen. An appeal to a supernatural power to inflict evil. And that appeal is made by your enemies, People who hate you. And I've identified one of those people who have appealed to a supernatural power to inflict evil upon you. Do you want to know that person? The name of that cousin? Do you want to know the name of that cousin who has appealed to a supernatural power to inflict evil upon your life? Do you want to know the name? That person is you. <laughs> by your behavior you can appeal to a supernatural power yes you can actually yield yourself as you are manifesting as you are as you are facing your pastor <laughs> yes that is why, you see, when this book falls into your hands, you must know that your deliverance has come, this book. Because some of us have behaved in a way that have opened doors. You are waiting for me to mention who? Michael or Josephine or Eva. You are the one. Yes, or John. 
You are the one. By your behavior, you appeal to a power. And the, you see, that supernatural power is not just a, a witch doctor. God himself can be that supernatural power. You can behave in a way that sets in motion machines that God has already created. Mm -hmm. Yes, God has created machines, except that the keys are lying somewhere. When you don't behave properly, it's like taking a key to start the engine. You are afraid of a, of a juju man, of a witch doctor. You yourself. Yes, you yourself. You yourself. That is the reason why when we say win souls, win souls so that you can be wise. And by being wise, you fight curses. We are not joking. It's a practical way to, to, to dilute certain things you have done yourself. When we begin to list your behaviors and the things you have done, we may spend the whole night here. But thank God that there is mercy from the throne room of God. And being here is part of that mercy. Yes. It's not somebody who hates you who has gone to appeal to a supernatural power. You yourself. Hmm? You can sit in your house. Even you've not bought the house. It's a mortgage. You can sit in it in your living room with three friends and discuss your pastor as if he's your classmate. You don't fear. <laughs> You are not afraid. You discuss him when you finish, you insult him. Then your wife brings food and you eat. Then you go to church on Sunday. When you see your pastor, you bow. <laughs> what you don't know is that four days earlier, you had appealed to a supernatural power to inflict evil upon you. But this camp, eh, I tell you, it is, it, is, it is bringing the mercy of God to us. Yes. That is why, not from, you see, what Bishop said about Saturdays, it's not a suggestion. It's not a recommendation. It is what? An instruction. Yes. For those who are intent on neutralizing the case. You will not sit in your house on Saturday at 4 o'clock and you are watching NBA. Hey! Bad, bad, bad. You are watching millionaires playing basketball. Millionaires. When you haven't found money you are looking for. <laughs> You are watching millionaires playing football, playing soccer. From now on, on Saturday, when you wake up in the morning, all your activities are towards the 4 p.m. outreach. Yes. That is why if you are here at this camp, you must thank the person who brought you here. Yes. Whether you came at gunpoint or whatever, just... Thank the person who brought you here. <laughs> because your deliverance has come. I said your deliverance has come. It is not going to happen anymore that the, the enemy will have power over you. Yes. As you join Vision 10,000, you are, you, are, you are acquiring power over the enemy. What is a case? Number two. Hmm? I can't find my, my points. It's what? An express what? Wish. That some form of adversity will attach itself. Some evil. Some road accident. Some cancer. Some disease. It is the wish of someone that an evil will attach itself. But we block it in the name of Jesus. We block it in the name of Jesus. 
And one of the ways to block it is to win souls. Mm -hmm. When you win souls, you are blocking it. Number three. To be cursed is to be sentenced to inferiority and demotion. But this camp marks your upward rise in life. I said this camp marks your upward rise in life. Any area of your life where you were down, that area is going to see an upward rise. Because you cannot be in Christ and be at the bottom. Your place in Christ is at the top. You are a city set on a hill which cannot be hid. Anything trying to hide your colorful destiny is aborted and bound in the name of Jesus. Yes. People who have not met you before, the first thing they will see about you is your glorious destiny. I see you at the top, beautified, made nice at the top. Shout, I am at the top. At the top. You are at the top. At the top in ministry. If you are a student, you'll be at the top. Me, I'll finish writing exams. But if you are here and writing of exams is a part of your life, I am informing you that one, the next time you are looking for your name, you won't bow down your head to look at the bottom. You will lift your head and look for your name at the top. Receive it in the name of Jesus. How is it possible that a child of God will write exams and get 25%? Can you imagine Jesus writing exams and getting 18%? If it cannot be found in Jesus, it will not be found in you also. Receive it in Jesus' name. This is the camp. This is it. It marks the beginning of your stardom. I said it marks the beginning of your stardom. When you appear, they will clap as if Michael Jackson has appeared. You think of any star you know. We learned it a few hours ago. By winning souls, you shine like a star. I said you shine. Is it Daniel 12, 3? You shine like a star. Congratulate two stars around you. That is why you are not going to joke at all. With soul winning. You won't joke. Have you? Let me ask you a question. Hello? Have you seen any man with a pickaxe? What do you call it here? Pickaxe? Digging the ground. Digging, digging, digging. And when you ask him what is he doing, he will tell you he is looking for a star. Do you find stars inside the soil? Where do you find stars? We are going to look for you at the top. I said, we are, we are going to look for you at the top. Any area of your life where we have to bow our heads to look for you, your, your relationship, your marriage, your ministry, your work, your education, this is the time we lift up our heads to look for you. By reason of your soul winning capacity, you are becoming a star. Shout, I am a star. You will be at the top. I said, you will be at the top. You see, by the grace of God, I had a little education. I didn't go very far, but just a little to primary, secondary. And I realized that the type of education I had, I had classmates who studied a lot. I remember there was a classmate I had who had 
brand new textbooks. Oh, yes. Every textbook we needed to study. He had an uncle in London or somewhere. He brought fresh, crisp books with notes. He studied and studied and studied. When we wrote the exam, he was at the bottom. There are people who attend extra classes from school to school. I don't know, you guys don't have such things here. But back home, we have what we call extra classes. That is, apart from your normal, regular classes, you see teachers to take you through extra tuition. Yes, you don't have it here, but we have it down the road. You have it here too? Wow. And they will have a lot of these classes and extra, extra, extra. When we write the exam, we cannot find their names. That was when I realized that you need more than studying to shine in your exam. There is a supernatural power that comes upon a young girl. Apart from studying, that power over your life lifts you to the top to shine. And I am announcing that in this camp, because you are a soul winner, you didn't hear me. I said because you are a soul winner, when you write exam, the angelic power of God is also being introduced into your academic life. Receive it in Jesus' name. We, we believe in the power of God. We study hard. We buy textbooks. We go to school. But there is a factor that is supernatural. Yes. That is beyond human abilities. That is why we do things that bring, that draw the power into our lives. So I'm here to inform any students. I don't know why I feel an anointing for students. Somebody in the university, somebody in high school, the last time you had below 50% was the last time you will have that mark because now you are a soul winner. Can I hear a shout from a student? Some of you have got friends. Who know you in the class? They know you as a 40 percenter. As a 60 percenter. As a 50 percenter. I'm informing you. Because you have connected your life to this in 10,000, you are no longer going to be among the 50 percenters and 60 percenters. I saw something like 92 or 87 or 85. I don't know who that person is. Receive it now. And just in case you think the blessing is only for students, I'm informing you that in your office also, favor is coming upon you. I said favor is coming upon you. The same power that lifted Healing Jesus campaign from a corner of Accra to international status is lifting you in your office. It's lifting you in your area. It's lifting you in your classroom. You are no longer a subject for debate. When we see you, we see an international star. Receive it in Jesus' name. Look, when we live here, don't be under any illusion. Our father gathered us here, not just to preach to us, but to confer blessings upon us. Yes, as I stand here, I have come to receive my blessing. You so have you received yours. It changes your life from the man you were before you came here. You are changed 
you are transformed. I see you up. I see you up. Receive it in Jesus name. Miracles are going to be a part of your life. Because you are a part of Vision 10,000. The curse upon your life that made your enemies have a field day. Like when someone doesn't like you, it is his wish or her wish that comes to pass. It shall not happen again. Anybody who has lifted himself as an enemy of a person like you, that person vanishes from your radar in the name of Jesus. Everything about you will be nice. I said, everything about you will be nice. I said, everything about you will be nice. There is a teenager standing somewhere here. I don't know whether you are to my right or to the left. But your, your teacher will call you for advice. I see you sitting down with your teacher and advising your teacher. Receive it now. The blessing that is upon us. What did Bishop tell us? This church we are seeing here, we were five. Oh. Five in New York. Five. Look at us here. That is why your 5% is moving to 98%. That is why anything that is in short supply in your life is changing to maximum supply. Now, just think about it. Five people in a room. Trying to do church. I mean, going by natural trends, that church should not exist by now. But see what the Lord has done. I'm here to inform you. Because you are a part of Vision 10,000, anything about your life that is little is being transformed to a thousand. When we are describing something about you, we will not use normal words. There is someone looking into a dictionary to find the right word to describe your glory. Somebody is looking for the right word to describe how beautiful you have become. Receive it if you believe it. Your life is changing. I said, Your life is changing. A lot of the things we have suffered have all been a result of curses, problems, things you have not done. Your father, grandfather did it. And you are here. Some of you thought you were running away from Ghana to escape a curse. Not knowing that before you arrived, the curse had already landed at the airport. But I release a power in your favor. I said, I release a power in your favor. Receive escape routes. It won't happen again. Maybe you don't know. I'm informing you that we are not under a small anointing. What we are under, the cloud we are under, is not a small thing. Yes. Any girl above 20 looking for a beloved, you will not need to remove your eyebrows. I said you will not need to remove your eyebrows. I am telling you that you don't need to remove your eyebrows. You can, even as a girl, you can grow more eye, uh, eyebrows. The man who will find you will find you. Receive glory and beauty.
allow them to wear short skirts to attract boys. Allow them to wear wonder bra to, uh, to attract girls. As for you, the way your chest is, is the way it is. <laughs> is somebody receiving a blessing? You won't need to hustle. Just be a soul winner. The testimony I shared about my wife was not from a storybook. I have seen it practically. If you don't have money to perm your hair, you can crop it to be like my own. That is what will even floor the boy. When he sees a girl like you with short hair. Wow! Receive it now! after this experience we find you at home on Saturday afternoon watching NBA watching EPL or worse still smooching a girl If you are married and you want to have a child, you better have sex after outreach. <laughs> Go for outreach. When you come back, enter the room. A miracle will follow you in the room. Receive it now! Is there anybody who can clap his hands or her hands? This is the camp. It signals the end of an era in your life. I'm telling you. An era of depression. An era of sorrow. You may experience one or two episodes of sorrow in a year. But the general story of your life is that the joy of the Lord will catapult you to the heights. That is what God will do. I want to beg, if you want me to kneel down, I'll kneel down. I want to beg you, join this vision. Join it. There is a miracle in it. You watch it. And Bishop has told us, pastors everywhere, if you are here listening to me, make sure that your church starts testimony time. Yes. On Sunday, before you preach, somebody, before you we do the memory verse, someone should take the microphone and share a testimony. A what? A testimony. And I just saw in the spirit that you were the one sharing the testimony. I said you are the one sharing the testimony. I said you are the one sharing the testimony. What? At this stage of our lives, we don't use makeup. To attract a guy. What makeup could not do, soul winning will do it for you. Yes. Hey. I said, we don't use what? If you want to use makeup, I mean, that's okay. I mean, once a while, just you are a girl, you're not a boy, just once a while. 
but 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 your marital destiny will not depend on makeup because the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. I said the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For somebody, it's a beloved. For you, it may be a job. For you, it may be a blessing. Whatever you are looking for, may that glory that comes from being a soul winner rest upon you in the name of Jesus. No, 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 no. no. We, are, we, we are going for what counts. We are going for what counts. It's, it's not right. A 17 year old girl, 19, you are wearing red lipstick. 17 years. Red lipstick. And, 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 and what disturbs me, what disturbs me is that there is no one around you to tell you that because of your fair complexion and the red lipstick, you look like a pig. This is the era of non-lipstick beloved dozen. I said non-lipstick beloved dozen. Whether your face is crampled or not crampled, you will get a beloved. I wish I would be in your church that Sunday. When you are sharing your testimony, receive it now. You can use soul winning to advance the course of your life. He that repeats, John 4, receiveth wages. This is not just dollars. What is wage? A wage is what? A salary. A fixed salary. Some of you, your fixed salary is someone to even give you a hug. You are getting one. There's a girl here. You always get 28% in mathematics. Your fixed salary is going to be 75, 82. Receive it now. I, there is a blessing coming into people's homes. The parents here, there's a blessing. I sense a blessing. The vision 10,000 blessing. You see, the reason why it's not vision 500 or vision 20 or vision 40 is that your blessings must be counted in thousands. Yes, yes, thousands, thousands. The era where your blessings were, you had to use one hand. One, two, three, four, five. No. Look, soul winning has taken the lives of many, many people to the top. It's not everything you can do on your own. I had a meeting with my instrumentalist recently, and one of them was late. And uh, when he came, we were asking him why he was late. He is a teaching assistant in the university. He said he was ready to come for the meeting. And suddenly, one of his lecturers said they could not find a pack of answer sheets. They wrote their um, last semester's exam whether they had been marked or what, they couldn't find a whole huge stack. They have looked everywhere. And I asked him, so what are you going to do? He said, it is likely we are just going to call them to write the exam again. And, and I'm sure you are aware that the passing one exam doesn't mean you pass it again when you write it. <laughs> so when you write an exam, you need the power of God. To help your exam paper to be found. Anything about you that is vanishing from your life, 
soul winning is, is, is causing it to, to return and to be in bounteous quantities. A little one shall become a thousand. I said a little one shall become a thousand. Any young boy here, any elderly man here, any mother here, any teenager here, who deliberately decides that you are linking your destiny to this vision will not lack thousands. I said you will not lack thousands. Whatever must be in thousands will be in thousands. Whatever must be in millions will be in millions. I said whatever must be in millions will be in millions. There's a lady who must be very careful. Make sure you are around doing outreaches because the outreaches you'll be doing, the souls you will win, will move you into um, something, something millions. I'm speaking to a lady. Should I tell you that something, something? Something, something. Millions. Millions. Are you aware we are in a supernatural atmosphere? Yes. You are likely to marry a man who doesn't have proper sperm count. <laughs> but because of soul winning, the low sperm count is going to move to 20 million. 100 million. If you believe it, it will happen to you. Receive a supernatural boost. Please go and sit down. Let's read the verse. Sit down. Let's read the verse. Quickly, quickly, turn your Bibles. Are you there? Have you taken your Bible? Yes, Isaiah. Isaiah. Is that how you pronounce it here? The way I come from, we say Isaiah. I don't know how you say it. When you eat beggars, Isaiah, your mouth. <laughs> I didn't see the person. I thought it was, it was a small girl. You have made me say something to a, an important person. <laughs> I'm very sorry for saying your mouth. <laughs> what? Isaiah. <laughs> Isaiah 65, <clears throat> verse 8. Sha, 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 sha. Thus said the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one said, destroy it not, for a blessing is in it. So will I do for my servant six. That I may not destroy it. No. The phrase I want you to pick from this is what Bishop has taught us. Destroy it not. For a blessing is in it. One of the privileges of being in this camp is that God is suddenly showing you the containers of the blessings you need for your life. How many of you want blessings? Yes. And we have seen that soul winning introduces fantastic returns. There is a blessing in soul winning. 
There is a blessing. There is a blessing. There are many things in our lives that harbor blessings. Now, one of the things we do in our madness is that we tend to destroy the things that have blessings in them. It is one of the common acts of man. Destroying things that hold blessings. So you see someone who will be in a church like Lighthouse and manage to leave this church. Manage. Deliberately manage to leave a church like Lighthouse. And when we are looking for you, where do we find you? In a nightclub. Some of you have been blessed. You know, America has got one of the finest group of pastors you will ever find in Lighthouse. Yeah. The pastors in America here, you don't have any idea what you have. Clap your hands for the pastors of our branches. Good pastors. I'm telling you, you can search all over the world and not find pastors like this. Can you believe it? That there are people who manage to sever the relationship they have with beautiful pastors. I'm telling you, it is one it is one of the shocking findings of my life, my little life, that there are people who are anointed to destroy things that bring, that are channels of blessings. Can you imagine that there's a sister here who has used her tights to buy fingernails? for the fingernails to drive away the potential beloved. Because it made you look like Dracula. I could give you many, many more examples. Many people whose lives have stood still, who could not advance because they destroyed. I, I thank God for anyone who has been offended in this church and you managed to overcome the offense and stay. Clap your hands for clap your hands for that girl. I said, clap your hands for that girl. I can't hear your hand clap. It's, it's so weak. I don't know why. Look. Look. I am pronouncing a blessing upon your life. It is the blessing of not ever again destroying what is a channel of a blessing into your life. Destroy it not. As new wine is found in the cluster of grapes. And one said, destroy it not. For a blessing is in it. When you find something that is a receptacle of blessings, you don't destroy it. 
because the rest of our lives will be lived neutralizing curses. And we don't trifle with, 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 with agents of blessings. Channels of blessings. And one of such channels is soul winning. That is why I am begging you. I know your, your psychiatric history. Some of you sitting here looking very normal. You are mad. <laughs> mad. You look handsome, nice face, nice body. When you begin to manifest, you are wilder than, than Tasmania. I said, I have checked your psychiatric history. <laughs> Sit down. Madness. Many of you sitting here, you, are, you, are, you have destroyed many things. I'm telling you. Strategic relationships. You've, you've just bombed it. And walked away into misery and emptiness. Because you never knew that you must have special respect, not just for curses, but also for channels of blessings. And there are many things that will not announce themselves to you as a channel of blessing. Like your mother. Or like your father. I don't care whether I'm, I'm in America. Allow me to use my accent. You to use your Milwaukee accent. I come from a village in Africa. We say mother and father. <laughs> I said a lot of things will not announce themselves to you. That okay, be careful. Just talk to me well. I'm a blessing. No, your sickly father, your fragile mother. She doesn't even have money. You've forgotten you sent her money. But she's powerful. You remember uh, um, nine wonders of a curse? A short statement. It's wonderful. Yes. That elderly woman who doesn't have money, who will not eat until you send her food, she can tell you that you will sell beans. And surely you will move from Manhattan to Cincinnati to Massachusetts, to Milwaukee, to Seattle, to Saskatchewan. You will come back and sell bees. Why? Because there are some people, they don't announce themselves as channels of blessing. That is the reason why we have come to school. Here, here, you are being tutored to know the things that are blessings in your life because most of them, if the things that announce themselves as blessings are most of the time empty. The real channels of blessings, they are quiet. They watch you as you manifest yourself and they are praying inside their hearts. Lord, have mercy on this twerp. That is why I am telling you that you must not joke with soul winning. Because I have checked your psychiatric history. <laughs> that if we don't warn you, you are the type you will destroy a blessing. Look, it is not enough to be in church. It's not enough to have a Bible. 
it's not enough to pray. Yes. What you do with souls. Jesus Christ said he has come to seek and to save the lost. When you live a life of soul winning, you open a door. I tell you, that door short circuits most of life's long journeys. What will take somebody 20 years to attain through soul winning, you will get it in two and a half years. That's why Isaiah said, destroy it not. Because some of us will live here and destroy soul winning. Because we have, we, see, we checked your history before we, you came here. That you are prone to trivializing soul winning and evangelism. You don't like it. When your branch is going for soul winning, you find every excuse to escape. Even diseases you don't have. You send a text that you have that disease. You tell your pastor you are having menstrual cramps. When in reality your period ended four days ago. <laughs> We checked before we came. That's why we are saying that we know what you are likely to do. That you are likely to live here and continue in your self-destruct ways. You are likely to be watching NBA next Saturday. But I beg you, destroy it not for a blessing, isn't it? That is why our father will stand on his two feet and read, read the blessings of soul winning. Look at it. You, you, you take your notes and look at it. You may think I'm lying. Look at it. Unless you didn't write notes. And some of you also because you, when you were supposed to go to school, you were chasing a girl. You can't even spell some of the words well. So you cannot even read your own notes. <laughs> <laughs> it is for people like you that I'm going to read the notes because <laughs> what you have written you cannot even read it <laughs> yes. winning souls makes you wise our father stood here and, and shared with us that, that you use wisdom to neutralize certain curses. Yes. That the curse that came upon the woman. To have difficulty and pain in childbirth. Wisdom has been used to minimize it. Or totally take it away. So many women have painless childbirth. He stood here and told us that winning souls and building churches. I said, uh, we, we have checked your background. Oh, we have got, we've done background checks. That's why I'm saying that. We know you that you are likely to live here and continue in your ways. But destroy it not. Because your blessing is in soul winning. And that it is very possible that there are about 20 sisters here whose marriage will be directly connected to soul winning. Either the soul himself or the friend of the soul or the sister of the brother whose cousin came to the uncle's house and met the sister's uncle. <laughs> That winning souls and building churches makes your life glorious. 
Yes. Beauty comes upon your life. When you win souls, you cannot, it's not possible for a man who wins souls to be bounced by six ladies. Hello? Is it possible? No. Because the glory you are carrying makes it impossible. Even the sisters themselves will go to Ida Live and download the song Propose to Me. When you come for prayer meetings and the rest have not come, and the sister in whose house you are having the prayer meeting who say, oh, let us, uh, you know, create an atmosphere. Then she will play, the first song will be a song by Immigrant or Don Moen. But she herself has done her own playlist. And don't forget that while you are the one, only one there, she has also removed the doorbell. <laughs> Ensuring that you listen to the song before the prayer meeting starts. So after Don Don Moen, <laughs> after Don Moen and uh, Sandy Party, and who? Emigrant. The next one will be Ida. No. No, 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 no. No. There is a beauty coming upon your life. I said there is a beauty coming upon your life. He said winning souls and building churches make your life glorious. Proverbs 3 and 35. The wise shall inherit glory. You win souls, you become wise. And the wise shall do what? Inherit glory. So, if our father stood here, and read all these verses and spoke such great blessings upon our lives. All you need to do is to understand that you have chanced upon a container of blessings. Yes, some of you went to school expecting your education to do something for you. It, it, didn't, it didn't do it. Hello? Is, is there anybody who understands, who understands what I'm saying? You've done first degree, second degree, fourth degree, eighth degree. You are now hot in degrees. But what education could not deliver to you, soul winning will deliver it to you. I beg you. I beg you. Don't go home and destroy this. Don't go home and make nonsense of this camp. A key has been given you. You see, whenever you are found to be special, one of the privileges is that you are given a key. Yes. All through the Bible, anyone who was special was given access, special access. So was Peter. When he gave that revelation, Jesus said, I give you the keys of the kingdom. Because you came for this camp, a key has been given to you. A key that unlocks doors of great blessings. I'm sure before you came, you knew about soul winning. You knew outreach, soul winning, evangelism. You know, how many of you knew about soul winning before you came here? Of course. 
but a certain perspective. I said a certain perspective that was completely lost on us has been unveiled. But still, there are some amongst us who because of your history of destroying things that bring blessings into your life, will attempt to visit madness upon this one too. That's why I've told you. You couldn't go to school well. You were smoking Indian hemp. Destroyed your relationship with your mother. Destroyed your relationship with your... Even the policeman doesn't like you. When they see, they say, you again. <laughs> but that testimony has ended. I said, that testimony has ended. Because Vision 10,000 now introduces a new blessing. It's a new day. I said, it's a new day. It's a new season. It's a new life. Whatever devastation you have suffered from curses ends. I said it ends. I said it ends. There is a time certain things end in your life. And this camp marks the end of certain problems, certain cases, certain issues. Oh, yes. Some of us don't deserve to be here. When I say some of us, I'm not talking about only me. You also don't deserve to be here. Why are you looking at me as if I'm there? But somehow, God has made a way. He's worked things out. Some of you are standing exactly where you were not supposed to stand. Some of you are seeing blessings, you were, even relationships. I mean, where on earth can you, you, someone like you, you call 10 people for a meeting and they come. But for church, who will listen to you? That is why I know that the same way church has delivered blessings into our lives, this new life of vision 10,000, I beg you, do not destroy it. Do not destroy it. Because a blessing is in it. A blessing is in it. Do not destroy it. Because your marriage is in it. There is nothing that was said or done here today that was done out of lightness. Every moment of the time Bishop spent talking to us was prophetic. Wendy from L.A. L.A. is Lanquantanan. <laughs> L.A. Wendy. Oh, somebody has come here from Lanquantanan. I don't know. Listen. Please see someone at the door. L.A. I see. Do you have that here? La. Is Lanquantanan is here. What, what is L.A.? What? Los. Los Angeles. Ah, it's also L.A. Oh, okay. I see. Wow. Hey. Oh, that's LA. I see. Where I come from, LA means Lanquantanan. <laughs> I'm proud of my village. Destroy it not. <laughs> <laughs> 